Alrighty, Zai here. I am at the HGL finals, and about a week ago, I gave you an interview with Husky. I'm gonna wait a week. <laughs> I'm sorry. People he like Husky. just stepped away, and I like came in next in line. And it, a full this week has passed on the internet time. That is great. Totally different interview though, because I'm on the left side instead of the right. I see. That's why I had to switch it up. Content variety. And I'm only gonna give you one of the same questions. We're gonna go right into it. I'm ready. Who's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon, you know, ah. Uh... Now, I, I'm going to give a generic answer. I'm going to give a terrible answer, but I have a reason. Okay. It is Pikachu, but not due to the actual gameplay or, or actually Game Boy or card game of, of Pokemon. It's because of the cosplay, isn't it? Cosplay? No, <laughs> cosplay, cosplay, yeah. I had this great Pikachu cosplay <laughs> when I was 22. Dude, it was, it was super, the original Super Smash Brothers on the N64. And I chose Pikachu because, I don't know, I just did. Why not? And Everyone who I played with in my little social circle, they were awful. All I had to do was down B and like keep dropping lightning bolts, and that just felt so, I felt so powerful. And they were like, "How do you stop that?" And I was like all smug, I mean, I'm pretty good at games when I picked them up at first. <laughs> so after wrecking them a little bit, Pikachu has a special place in my in my young heart. That's still a valid answer. <laughs> I'm I take, glad. I take you don't play the games on. Oh, no, no, yeah. no. I I've never really been much of a handheld game player. Fair enough. And you may have answered this in other interviews. Yeah. But uh, HGL, obviously, businesses, all that good stuff. What made you want to start that up? I mean, we're not the best players. We're not terrible, but <laughs> we're not pros. Well, so there's there's a, a couple of reasons. Uh, a pretty easy, basic one is that everyone does tournaments. There are so many tournaments out there that it almost feels kind of like Groundhog's Day. And that actually shouldn't be that derogatory to it because... I watch all of them and cast all of them and have a great time with it. But I've seen you at some, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so when thinking of creating one, sure, we could maybe do another event like that. It would be fun and stuff. But um, this is something that brings the spotlight to like a completely different group of players. And I always love the idea that competition is a fun thing. You don't need to be amazing. Competing isn't about being the best. It's just about the fun of being against another person. This is and a game. Yeah, it, it's a game. It's unpredictable when you're competing against another person. Winning and losing is not nearly as fun as just being shocked and totally, oh my, I, holy shit, I had no idea, oh, like panicking. And then you like overcome the panic and perform well. That's like fun. So. To, to create a league that was focused on the average person. You know, there's so many people who are like, yeah, I can't play StarCraft, I work full-time, I'm a student full-time. Well, you totally can. Look at this league, which is nothing more than regular engineers, accountants, lawyers at various organizations just having a lot of fun, and that's the big focus of the event. So I like it. always I, remember that we can play games to have fun. It's not about winning. I do take exception to being called average. <laughs> but other than that, I, I like that answer. And, and it's a fun league. I've got to meet a lot of great I'm, people. I'm so glad, because that would be terrible if everyone showed up like, flew out here from the UK. God. It's awful. I hate fun. Give me a day nine and Husky. This is dumb. <laughs> and, I, we're, and we're going bowling afterwards, too, and I'm going to be casting the bowling. Can mm. I cast bowling with you? Sure. I'm a good bowler. No, I, yeah, you were telling me all about, like... My incredible short sightedness. There's, there's actual bowling. skill to bowling. It's not just. Oh, I don't disagree with big fat guys throwing their ball. Like he lifted up the, the defensive leg. Well, yeah, you got to kick the pins down. It's <laughs> terrible bowling advice. <laughs> I do have one request for next season. Yes. Don't let Zynga come. Why? What's wrong with Zynga? Is it because uh, the person filming no. has a Zynga shirt on? Ah. Just having fun. Just having fun. You guys can go through. Duck. Duck. Oh no. <laughs> if you're in the shot, you have to sign a release form. Okay. <laughs> I owe them royalties now. Nice. I don't get paychecks, but that's okay. Um, right, I'm supposed to be asking you questions about Lay it on me. You played Amnesia. Do you, <laughs> you cried playing Amnesia, but that's Basically, fine. Basically, yeah. You got any other games you're going to do that for? Um, I want to start playing more games when streamed because, I mean, it's kind of funny, the daily, let's ignore the fact that anyone tunes in. Let's pretend that nobody <laughs> watches. All right. For, it, it's a good experience for me because, first of all, it, I like StarCraft. I like the process of talking about it. But most of all, it forces me to do that for a certain amount of time every day. The fact that I make myself do it at 7 p.m. live every day 
it means that it will happen. I will make it a real job, too. <laughs> that, no, that's, you, that's one you probably do more work than I do. So. I, I work about 80 to 100 hours a week. That's, yeah, you that's the usual. You definitely got a real job. It, it's always so funny when people are like, oh, man, how do I, I, how, how'd you get into casting? Who, who gave you the opportunity? It was like, well, I just Me. kind of worked until I collapsed from overexhaustion, <laughs> and I got up and kept working, and I did that for like four years, and there you go. That's how you got the ends with Red Bull. <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah, like so. Um, with what were we talking about before? Oh yeah, other, other games. games. So I've been really tempted to just schedule like other games as like a casting type thing because that was one thing that was really nice about Skyrim is I was gonna buy the game anyways, so I better make it a stream of thought to force myself to play. So I have this obligation. Yeah, to nobody community. wants to play Skyrim. Well, the problem is that you know, there's this weird hump that you get over where it's first like oh, I don't want to work work sucks when you're in school you're just trying to get out of doing yeah. your work and convincing yourself that that B minus is fine and then you start working on something that you really are passionate about and you care about and you like get over the hump where whenever you're not working you're constantly aware of all of the things that you could be doing and you're kind of like oh I gotta okay I can do this I gotta do that okay may, I, maybe I could watch a movie but let me just keep my email open just in case and something comes up, pause it and work on that a little bit. So if I were playing Skyrim, I would probably spend 15 hours to get through like two hours of actual gameplay. But if I make myself make do it with a stream of thought. So that's something that I'm, I'm strongly considering doing purely for my own entertainment and sanity purposes because at the end of the day, I am a gamer. Yeah. 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 Got to play all games. Mm. You give way better life advice than I do too. Really? On my channel, it's like, it's Wednesday, let's drink and play StarCraft. Dude, that's not bad. That's <laughs> You're like, life advice. motivate yourself, people. You can be whatever you want. Just grind. Just do it. That's good. That's Just good do it, advice. man. That's the, that's the best advice that anyone... It was really funny, I actually had this friend, Kevin Fleming, who, his name I just announced publicly on your, on your YouTube. Whoops. So I have this friend, who shall remain anonymous, and... I lived in the same suite as him. We were both math majors, took all the same classes, so we would always joke about how we're just like, oh, I don't want to do this. Work. Oh God, uh, you know, Kevin was not your straight A's, four O overachiever or anything. You he, were? Oh no, not we're not a Harvey okay. Mudd. Harvey Mudd has only ever had, I think, eleven four O's in the history of the entire school. Like you just do not get a four O Harvey Mudd. So, so since that wasn't on the table, I was like, I'm not going to do well here. So, <laughs> good um, motivation. Yeah. So, well, me and Kevin were just not top of the line students. I mean we cared but we got the B minuses. Yeah we got we got we got some B's. It's B pluses sometimes because we're awesome. Even better. But um after he got a job he just was telling me one day, he's like, you know I want to learn Japanese because I've always kind of wanted to move to Japan. And then he just made himself study Japanese four hours a night every night when we got home from work. And Jeez. as of right now he's living in Japan, reading manga, playing Squaresoft games in the original language, doing everything that he's wanted to do. He's just like, yeah, I'm just going to do it. He's not one of those people who was like, man, ooh, wouldn't it be cool if I learned Japanese one day? And just fantasizes about it. He just did thought it. of it and did it. And that was one of the most like powerful moments for me to see him do that. Because this was in, I guess, 2008. Put just your said, mind to it and it can be done. And, well, it wasn't even... It was so much less than that. It was, well, I'm going to study Japanese, so I'm just doing <laughs> it right now. You know, on a Monday, he looked up a technique, and on Tuesday, he started doing it, and there you go. And it's kind of like a weird switch in mindset, where, you know, if someone says, if you work out really hard for three months, you'll be in incredible shape. And most people are like, oh, God. I'll start next week. Yeah, well, yeah, they're like, I don't want to do it because three months is such a long amount of time, but other people think, well, cool, if I start tomorrow, that means in three months, I'm, the sooner right. I start, the better. And it's kind of like a weird flip, so I've always tried to, even when my own body's like just go to sleep just blow it off you know i try like let's force myself lose. to do the flip start yeah. now you're really easy to interview because i say like four words and you got it covered for a song and then i'm just like blah, blah. this is what i think about things it's all great advice <laughs> yeah yay this is why everyone loves day nine <laughs> thank you zai <laughs> what why am i getting the scowl why am i getting the scowl it says Zion on the back of your t-shirt. Damn it. I was trying to play it off like you got my name right. No, I like, like, I saw it when you were turning that way. I, I was looking right at it. You can't deceive Don't get my this ability wrong. to Don't read. Get this wrong. <laughs> Whereas eight minutes ago, I would have called you IBM. <laughs> Bam. But yeah, so, dude, IBM, how, how are you going to do in the HGL Grand Finals? Even though I know you're going to upload this after the HGL Grand Finals.
It'll make me look smart if I'm right. Yeah. I I feel like we're going to win this 4-2. to 4-2? to Yes. And I am predicting now, a week after the finals, that Game 6 is going to be awesome. Are you in Game 6? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I switched to Zer or Protoss for this uh, matchup, and I expected to get a Zerg, and I love Protoss for Zerg. They put a Protoss on there, so... I mirror matches no matter what four I do. 4-gate versus 4-gate. Get check, ready, Chris. baby. Nah. Sure, why not? 4-gate, appreciate. I mean, yeah. I didn't 4-gate. Oh. Oh, that's right. In <laughs> retrospect, you did not. And that's good, because they can't actually hear us from here, so... Right. He's we're going to run over there and tell Epic. <laughs> He's not 4-gate. He's not 4-gate. Quickly. Nexus on 15. I planned for his treachery. <laughs> All right, I feel like we're done here. Do we do it? Do I think we we've surpassed Husky. What are we at here? Uh, 11. Oh, 11 awesome. minutes. Oh, we crushed Husky. Yeah, I'm, I talked too He's much. gonna cry. Oh. oh, no, no, I got one more request. All right, I'm Husky back. couldn't do this one. I need to piggyback right off into the sunset. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't do that, man. I have an, uh, this ankle, this ankle has been through so much abuse. <laughs> I see he's got express. skinny nerd legs, you have a bad ankle. Dude, I do. Like, this ankle, I, I've snapped the tendon on the right, I've snapped the tendon on the left side, and then I drove it through a wall going 40 miles an hour with a go-kart and, like, snapped the tendon again. So, like, it's <laughs> it, it's actually, like, weak. It doesn't hurt, but... You just gave all this motivational speaking and stuff, and now the can't is coming. Yeah, I can't do it. I don't know. Whatever. I'm, I'm going to settle. For all right, ways. fine. I'm just going to... I'm going to slowly slide out of frame. That'll work. Out. Bye, Zai. Bye, Later. Thank you for the interview.